had to sweeten up my coffee just a little bit this morning they didn't get it as sweet as it typically is so Brian's eating her little snack <laughs> um yeah just have lady off at school <clears throat> nothing's blind for lighting last night this one shoo take your shoes off <clears throat> she had a little bit of a rough night starting out. I know I talked about yesterday how she didn't nap. Okay, let me help you. I know I talked about yesterday how she didn't really nap. Well, she went down for bed and kind of done the same thing. So, she was just so uncomfortable with her cold. It was probably the worst. Like, usually when she's sick, she never, like, has a bad night. Like, she always sleeps really well. Even if she's sick, she'll be up coughing a little bit, but she never like cries out like she needs help or something. But last night, Ethan and I were both in her room right before we went to bed, like trying to suck her nose out with the nose Frida, making sure her head was elevated, like comforting her, and she just couldn't breathe. So she, after that, she had a really good night though. Just that cough, just that cough. You don't need ketchup with those. You're eating veggie straws. Also, oh my goodness, probably the most annoying pregnancy symptom, especially last night, it just really like flared up, I guess, is the carpal tunnel that I've been experiencing. I've gotten it like, it'll usually happen a couple times a night. I wake up and I'm just like, my arm's just uncomfortable, my hand. But like last night, I, like, well actually early this morning is when it started. My arm hurt so bad, both of my arms. And then my hands were like so like, it's like cramping. And I'm guessing it's the carpal tunnel thing um, from what I'm reading online. But like it was just the, probably the worst pregnancy symptom I've had so far. And it's not like, it wasn't like super painful, but it was just like I couldn't get it to stop unless I actually got out of bed. And that's when it stopped. And then I lay back down and a few minutes later it'd do the same thing. So I had to get up again. And that's, it was just so annoying. So only when I sleep though, only when I sleep. Rian is waking up. I just sat there and rocked her for probably about a good 45 minutes for a little nap. Uh oh, she's not happy. But this heartburn is so bad. I'm about to take a Tums. This is really all I've had to take because I hadn't been that bad. So I'm not had to actually take like an actual pill or something. This usually does it, but it's so bad right now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna make Rian a little bit of lunch. I think I'm going to make her a little PB&J. And some stuff to go with it. Alright. This is her lunch today. Um, I think she fell back asleep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to wait on her to wake up. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. Can you say hello? Can you say hi? Uh, <laughs> Alright, you ready to sit? Do you want to eat your lunch? All right, I made me the same thing, but I have some leftover pasta salad. Oh my goodness, she's doing so well with her peanut butter and jelly. She's actually eating the whole thing. Well, good morning again. <laughs> I'm picking up where I left off yesterday, which I have no idea where I left off, but I had to stop vlogging because Rian was just not in a good mood and I basically like had to hold her all day and it just I didn't even put up a video today um it was just I don't know I had to stop I just stopped vlogging and I said I'll just pick it back up tomorrow so that's what we're doing it is like a spring day here look at the girls' outfits look they have like spring like outfits on because it's so nice I think it's supposed to get up to like 77 or something so it is so nice outside, so nice. But yeah, I'm just picking back up where I left off yesterday because it was just a rough day. But she is much better today and not so upset about stuff and woke up in a good mood. Okay, I have been at home for a couple hours trying to get um, just a bunch of stuff prepared for like tax stuff, all that, which is so different this year being that I have like basically like my own small business. So it's like so different than years in the past but that's what i've been trying to do and i'm about to run out and do an errand for one more thing that i've got to get done before we go see our accountant and all that but that's what i've been trying to do all morning long um and it's not long i have to get the girls and i have a doctor's appointment today and yeah 
so that is all I've been doing today. And then I tried to clean up a little bit because Ethan's grandmother is coming over to watch the girls while I head to my doctor's appointment. So I didn't want a messy house when she comes. So that has been my morning. And now I'm going to run my errand and grab some lunch, grab the girls. Yeah, that's just what I've been doing today. Now I'm tired. So I have actually been keeping a check on my blood pressure at home. So, um... I'm thinking it should be fine at my appointment today. Um, the past few times it's been up a little bit, but at home it's actually been good most of the time that I check it. And so I'm thinking I'll go in and it'll be okay. Um, so I'm hoping at least it should be fine, but yeah, I'm thinking my appointment today should go good. I'm thinking my blood pressure should be fine. It hadn't been up to the point where they're like, really concerned about it it's just kind of starting to creep up a little bit but I think it should be fine today boy is it warm today humid muggy <laughs> out here it's nice though Delaney's class was playing on the playground when I picked her up she had fun doing that and she did not want to leave she was so mad at me for picking her up Why but we had to come home for I have a doctor's appointment remember okay I'm gonna leave you alone you grab your stuff There's my ring. What all did you get in your hair? Did you get peanut butter and jelly in your hair at school? Because it's sticky and greasy looking. A bug. <laughs> What'd you see? A bug. Bug? Where? Did you get food in your hair? Hello. I just got back from my appointment that took literally no time. Um, I was gone. I left my house and was gone for maybe 45 minutes. He is the quickest doctor ever most of the time. Um, but it went really well. I was really surprised. My blood pressure was perfect. Couldn't have been better. I mean, it was perfect. Which is weird that the past two appointments, three, two or three, getting a little higher. Um, but it was perfect today. So, and I, I went at a different time than I've been the past few weeks. Could that have, I don't know. But, like, that surprised me. I mean, but I mean, I'm glad for it. I'm so glad um, that it was good. So Ethan and I have talked about how I'd love, I don't know if I mentioned this, how I'd love to be able to um, not have to worry about problems during pregnancy, blood pressure, all that. I would love to be able to, um, for it to be a surprise when I go into birth and for me just to be very surprised. Go with my water break or start having contractions and go to the hospital without it being like um, scheduled, I guess, or anything like that. That's what I would love. I think that would be awesome. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, we'll see how the rest goes. Um, last time was, was 32 weeks when I started having problems. I'm almost 32 weeks, but um, I have hope that everything will go good. Um, but I'm about to get ready and um, take the girls outside I actually ran snapping um but i think we're gonna go outside for a little bit it is very very warm out there i don't need this cardigan it's that warm so delaney just started randomly staring outside and i was like what is she doing what is this um there's a package and i haven't ordered anything i don't think i've ordered anything have i ordered anything what does it say it's from let's see I didn't realize this was coming today. Are you excited to look at this? Oh my. So excited. I got a baby product in. And I'm going to show you guys. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Oh my goodness. It's bleeding. Okay. Let's see. I am so excited. Thank you. I get so excited about packages. Especially this one. Baby related stuff makes me happy. All right, see what's in there. Another box! <gasps> what do you think that is? What do you think that is? Huh? Let's see. So, Solly Baby sent me a couple items that I'm so excited about. Um, I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard of the Solly Baby wraps. I mean, I feel like it's a... One of the most popular baby wraps I've ever heard of. I had a Moby wrap with... No, don't touch that. Um, I had a Moby wrap with this one. And Rhea. I've had it since her. 
And I've heard such good things about these Solly wraps, how lightweight they are, breathable, and all that. And I'm so excited. So, this is the one I got. Um, I'm so excited to be able to use it. Y'all will definitely be, see be seeing me using this a ton. Um, this is the pink dot one. This is the pink dot. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Yeah. S super cute because I'm having a girl and I'm a mama girl. So, I thought pink would be. I thought it was really pretty. Um, so I got that. That's the baby you wrap. Have to feel this. It's really it's soft. soft. Yes. And then they sent me a cute layette for her. Look. And it's soft. Too. Look how cute. All of them are soft. Look how All stinking cute that is. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Thank you, Solly Baby. Um, y'all will definitely be able to be seeing me use this a lot. I love baby wearing. Um, and I knew I wanted a new wrap. I love wraps for the newborn stage. <laughs> you showing them everything. Yeah, that's how the wraps look. I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard of this company, but I'm so excited. So excited to use it. Yeah, I'm excited because the baby wrap, super heavy. This seems so much more lightweight. And I just heard that like a big difference between them is it's breathable, which is awesome because I'm going to have a spring baby. We'll be using it as we're getting into summer. So I'm so excited. I can't wait because I love using wraps for the newborn stage and wearing my babies and especially baby number three. I feel like I'll be baby wearing a lot more. So let me know if that was your case as you had more kids. Did you feel yourself baby wearing more? What did Gran bring, Lainey? Cookie. Cookie. She brought some sprinkle cookies and my personal favorite chocolate chip they're perfect like perfectly baked um so good we head out on date night just kidding we did drop the girls off but we have to do boring things we're going to meet with the accountant and we'll probably grab supper together too <laughs> we dropped the girls off with ethan's parents so we can head and do that real quick and try wait is it this way really well we don't know where this um place is it's a new place we're going but yeah we're gonna have a little not day night <laughs> not day night because it's not a date at all oh road, road work <laughs> so ethan i got done with our thing we were doing um Time out. why are you scared to say taxes everybody in the u.s i don't, has I don't know taxes. i just don't i everybody don't know in the, in the united states I know. we got done with our taxes I said a cow. We were going to see that cow I mean, I think I talked about it earlier. We were going to figure out our tax stuff. Anyways, um, we were going to go out for supper, but I, I started hurting. I don't think I'm having contractions. I'm actually feeling better now, so I, I think I'm okay. But I started like cramping. Anyways, I didn't feel like going in anywhere. But we just went to the Chinese place and grabbed something. And that lady was so funny. I, I guess she saw me from a distance, saw my belly. She's like, when you do? And um, so I guess I shouldn't talk like her. I'm not trying to, that's just, that's just how she was talking. And she, she was telling us all about her breastfeeding experience, how it hurt. And it was her, she had the baby like on her birthday, like a couple days later. And she was like talking about how it hurt breastfeeding and it was her birthday. I don't, I don't know. It was funny though. She was sweet, but it was so funny. I've got terrible terrible heartburn oh. oh it's getting worse i probably need to start taking like a medicine for it other than tums i remember i remember with um delaney and the quads i would take something every morning and that would help maybe i should start doing that i don't know because it's getting worse but anyways yeah like i said i think i'm feeling better not really hurting anymore it's just weird because i haven't hurt like the whole time but like I said, it didn't feel like contractions. It was like a cramp, cramping feeling. Gas. It was not gas. I mean, it could be. I don't think it's gas. I don't know. It could be. Who knows? <laughs> but anyways, we're going to take our food back to Ethan's parents' house and grab the girls. All right, Lainey and I are going to end the vlog. We are home. I'm feeling okay. I'm tired. We are going to bed, aren't we? We're gonna read her book, A Jacket Gymnastics. Are you okay? She tripped over something in the playroom or in the living room. You all right? <laughs> Was you homesick tonight? He's ready to come home. She's and never now like that. I'm sick. No, you're not. 
<laughs> I am. Anyways, we're going to end this vlog. I don't even know what I love vlogging in this vlog, I feel like. But we're going to go ahead and end it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say bye. 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 bye.